Well, welcome, friends. We're back in our longitude Sunday morning, 11.53 local time here in Southern California. 1.53 here in Lincoln, Nebraska, where we landed last Sunday. We've been here all week. We're going to do a full flight video today, as you may have already inferred, based on the fact that we're still at the airport. Weather in Lincoln, very nice, actually. 64 degrees, mostly sunny. It's actually warmer in Lincoln, Nebraska than it is in my backyard, where it's currently 63 degrees. Interesting. Anyway, as I said, we're going to do a full flight video today, and we're going to Louisville, Kentucky. About 551 nautical miles, about 620 miles. Expecting about an hour and 20 minutes. Weather in Louisville, beautiful, 60 degrees, mostly sunny, winds are out of the south. So, let's get started on this full flight video. My plan, once we get to cruising altitude, is to give you an outside window shot, or looking out the left side of the aircraft, and shut up, in case you want a little uh, excuse to take a nap. And then I'll chime back in as we begin our approach. Switch our cameras to manual, and let's fire her up. Okay, left and right batteries. Left and right, Jen. If you started. Take him off to the south. Departure frequency is one two four decimal zero squawk five six five five. Set VS at thirty five hundred. Cessna November tree four tree Bravo whiskey. Speed to manual to for ninety five. Take off runway one eight climb and maintain eleven thousand feet. Calibrate our altimeter. Departure on one two four decimal zero squawk five six five five. Torpedo static on. If you at one hundred percent to the right engine. Contact ground on one two one decimal niner. Good day. Fuel valve open. Nav source GPS. Bearing one GPS. Bearing two, nav one. EFT settings, wind option two. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake because they're going to get pushed back. The right engine's coming up. Froze there for a second. Bring up our VFR map just to show you what uh, our journey looks like today. Populate. There we go. Lincoln. That's, that's as most as I can zoom out. There we go. Ramsey, Susie, Uncod, Friesen, Spires. We're doing the Friesen Five Star. About a 12-mile final. Into runway. One seven right. Right engine is good to go. We'll start our left engine now. Left engine now coming up. Do a notch of flaps. Lincoln ground, Cessna November, tree four, tree Bravo, whiskey requesting the end of pushback. We will Cessna enter November, in three four, three Bravo, whiskey request to end pushback. the ILS frequency for runway 17 right where we expect to land in Louisville at 110.3. Cessna November Bearing 2 sets an app 1. With Oscar ready to taxi IFR. Speed bugs. VR 140. BY195. And the app 132. Hold on. Alright. Uh, okay, right engine 60.2 on N2%. Left engine's just about there. Got a notch of flaps. We're ready to taxi over to runway 18. Strange. They want us to take off on runway 18, and yet, why do they have us heading south? Well, we'll see what, how this turns out. Okay, both engines are good to go, so let's turn off the EPU and our starters. Alright, let's get our taxi light on. Ready our timer. 
What do you say, friends? I really feel like we should be taxiing in the opposite direction if they want us to take off from runway 18. I'm going to slice this van in half. A lot of cars on the taxiways here in Lincoln. Yeah, I feel like they're taking us to runway 36. I mean, we're headed south right now. We are not going to runway 18. Well, let's see what happens. Well, probably when we get to cruise, I'll double the rate of play speed. with a speed bump or something. Anyway, I might do that just to keep the video from being too long. It takes forever to upload to YouTube when it's 4K. I mean, really forever. This is very strange. They cleared us to runway 18, and yet they've got us taxing to runway 36. What do you suppose that could mean? A long weekend and not in a good way for me. Got some bad news here and there about various things. It's just a, left me a little, take the wind out of my sails, so to speak. But I got a nice note from uh, Joyless Tunic. Joyless Tunic, if you're watching this video, thank you for the kind words. And I figured nothing makes you feel better more than getting a nice flight in. Hopefully, the sim's stable. Hope Springs Eternal. I'm sure we'll lose photogrammetry, we'll lose ATC, we'll lose voices, whatever. It is what it is. All right, here's our takeoff. Well, this is not our takeoff runway. This is runway 36, but this is where they've routed us, so let's see what happens. It's not runway 18. That's crazy. I'm not on runway 18. Whatever. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh dear. Zoom out on our MFD. I mean, they've routed me to runway. To runway 36, and yet then they've told me to take off from runway 18. So, don't do this in real life, fellas. All right. Okay. We'll activate heading mode, sync our heading bug, and we're all good to go. Start our timer. Timer started. Let's go. Off we go to Kentucky for a whiskey tour. That's what I want to do. I want to do a whiskey tour. Eighty knots. A little crosswind from the east. One. 40 and rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Autopilot. Cessna 3 Bravo, whiskey contact, departure on 124 decimal zero. 
They don't seem to care that we took off from the wrong runway. Auto throttle engaged. One two four decimal zero for Cessna Tree Bravo. Two zero zero. Departure Cessna November Tree Four Tree Bravo Whiskey is passing two thousand five hundred feet, climbing eleven thousand feet. Flaps retracted. Okay, we'll engage nav mode. Start our right turn. Cars down there on the highway look great. So we get our right turn to head east. All right, let's engage FLC. Is that two three zero? It's beautiful out there. We're cruising at thirty nine thousand feet today. Which we should get to. Pretty quick, the plane's light today. Not a lot of fuel on board. Not much in the way of passengers, cargo, or anything like that. Twenty-eight seventy-five through whiskey. Good day. Going to one two eight decimal seven five Cessna Tree Bravo whiskey. Minneapolis Center is Tree Bravo whiskey at uh, eight thousand eight hundred and climbing eleven thousand. Is at eight thousand seven hundred feet, climbing eleven thousand feet. Landing lights off. Coming up on 11,000 where they climbed, cleared us to. Set our speed to 240. Let it stabilize and then we'll set to 50 now that we're above 10,000. Should get further climb instructions here momentarily. Set 260. Take advantage of this plateauing, it's leveling off before we get further step instructions. Up to 210 through whiskey. Alright, so climbing up to 21,000. Set FLC 280. Zoom out on our MFD to 35. Nice, healthy climb right now, about 4,000 feet per minute. Rocket ship. Set our FLC to 290 as we continue our climb out. weather in this part of the country today. United 1572 traffic is 1 o'clock, 4 miles at flight level 340 generic. Report them in sight. Hawaiian 51 traffic is 3 o'clock, 3 miles at flight level 330 generic. Hawaiian? Report them in sight. What the hell are they doing out here? Passing 17,000 feet now, doing a respectable 290 knots. Still climbing 4,400 feet per minute, so we'll up it to 300. 300 knots indicated. Transition altitude. Altimeter set to 902. Got a nice tailwind, 40 knots. Awesome, that's what I want to see. Efficiency is a noble goal. Getting ready to level off at 210. Should expect further climb instructions when we get to 208. That's how the sim works. 200 feet from your target altitude. 
take advantage of this level off here to get a little more speed out of her. She can handle it. Further climb to what? 290, 330, what? Bravo whiskey climb and maintain flight level 330. There it is, 330. Good guess. FLC engaged. Activate half bank mode. Keep things safe. can't decide if I should increase the rate of play or not. But I think I will. I mean, who's going to sit and watch, look, looking out the window as we fly over, you know, Nebraska, northern Missouri, southern Illinois. Not that there's anything wrong with those places. It's just nobody watches my videos anyway. I mean, I have like 10, 12, 15 dependable viewers. <laughs> Nineteen six Bravo Whiskey. One one nine or decimal six for Cessna Tree Bravo Whiskey. Minneapolis Center or three Bravo Whiskey at two four three climbing three three zero. Bravo Whiskey is passing flight level two four five climbing flight level three three zero. Cessna November three four three Bravo Whiskey Minneapolis Center continuous climb. Hope the sim stays stable. Take a look here. Confirm our gear, of course, is up. Flaps are retracted. Fuel on board, N2%. 94.2 is, those are in parity. In agreement, 94.1. Oil temperature, 79 Celsius, oil PSI. Fuel, flow. Cabin altitude, 4,900 feet. Rat temp minus 13, minus 14. Outside air temperature minus 41. APU's off. Bat voltage, nominal. Bat amperage, minus 103. I could pretend to know what that means, but I shan't. Now 51 knot tailwind. True airspeed, 462 knots. Angle of attack indicator's fine. Ground speed, 512 knots. We're all an ass. Climbing at 2550, 2500 feet per minute. FLC confirmed set to 310. GPS autopilot comms set to 1196. Timer showing us just 10 minutes, 9 minutes, 7 seconds since we took off and already at 29,000 feet. My goodness, can this thing fly up fast. Is our call sign right there? Tail number, rather. Got great weather today, so there's no no need to uh, check our radar. Here's the Canucks. Coming up on 330, I'm going to take the initiative here and actually set it to 340 so we don't waste time leveling off just because of ATC's goofiness. We'll switch over to mock mode now. See right now it says 310. We'll switch to mock mode. 0 0.840, that's exactly where we want to be. 84% of the speed of sound. Should get our climb instruction now. Nice. Good, so we've been cleared up to our cruising altitude.
Local time in Louisville, Kentucky is uh, 3.13 p.m. They're three hours ahead. They're in the Eastern time zone. I'm on the fence. Do I or don't I increase the rate of, of play? I hate to do that because it feels like dishonest in some way. Plus, it screws up my, my whole mantra about flying in real time. That commitment I have to flying only in real time is a real pickle. Because anytime I'm on the other side of the planet, I have to deal with flying in arguably inopportune times. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep it in real time. You don't have to, just fast forward. The four or five of you that may watch this, fast forward. Or better yet, if you're fortunate enough, kick up your feet and uh, pretend you're on a real plane, just relaxing, looking out the window. Don't worry, I'll keep flying. I'll keep everything safe. As we close in here on our cruising altitude of 390, I'll set our airspeed at 0 0.850. I think we can do without getting an overspeed warning. But I'll keep an eye on it. A great tailwind, though. 70 knots. Look at this. That's great. I was actually thinking that when I post this video, I might add music. You know, some sort of relaxing music when you're looking out the window but I don't know how to do that so I'll have to enlist the help of my daughters they know that stuff all right we're coming up on 39,000 feet 37.8 right now just passing through still climbing 1700 feet per minute United 1572. I wonder where they're going. Let's look while we get ready to reach our cruising altitude. Flightaware.com. UAL 1572. 1572 is in real life and at the very moment going from Denver, Colorado to Newark, New Jersey. En route. Left Denver at 11.47 a.m. Expected arrival time, 5.21 Newark time. All right, we got an 80-knot tailwind. We are at 39,000 feet. We'll set our speed to 8.50, which we will be able to get. You see this bug right here. Shows it's still below the barber pole. So no overspeed problems. All right, friends. Well, I expect us to probably begin our descent in just about 20 minutes, 24 minutes maybe. So in the meantime... I'll look out. I believe you're looking out the window. Relax. Enjoy the flight. What do you want? You want this view or do you want that view? What do you say? Let's do this. Let's do it. You got to look at that beautiful wing, huh? All right, friends. Sit back. Relax. Enjoy the flight. And I'll see you in a few minutes.
Contact Kansas City Center on 125 decimal. 
5.254 Cessna Tree Bravo Whiskey. Kansas City Center, Cessna November 343 Bravo Whiskey Flight Level 390. Cessna November 343 Bravo Whiskey, Kansas City Center, continue as planned.
Contact Indianapolis Center on 
Alright friends, well, wake up, sleepyhead. It's been a very pleasant flight, so far. Descending to 14,000 for 11,000 at 2,000 feet per minute. 46 miles out from the airport, just about uh, 12 minutes. 13 minutes from landing. As I said, we already have the ILS information programmed in for runway 17 right. There are other aircraft inbound. There's a UPS cleared to the same runway we're cleared to. We'll see what happens with that. UPS has Louisville as their hub, or one of their hubs. 43 miles out, 13,200 feet. Altitude's perfect, we'll continue slowing. 270. You well know the speed restrictions below 10,000 at this point. Looks beautiful here over southern Indiana on this side and northern Kentucky there. Slow to 265. We are, as I mentioned, landing in the ILS runway 17 right at Louisville. KSDF is the ICAO code. Kilo Sierra Delta Foxtrot. And we're landing on ILS 17 right via the Frizen or Frizen 5. Frizen 5 Star, standard terminal arrival. Airport elevation 501 feet, touchstone zone elevation. Touch down zone elevation 485. Approach course 170. Runway length 11,500 feet. Down to 4,000 through whiskey. Slow to 260. Yeah, passing 10,800 now. We'll slow to 255. This video will take forever to upload. 33 miles northwest. 33 miles northwest. Good, good. All right. Slow to 250. Below 10,000 now. Maintain present heading and altitude. 31 miles out, 9,200 feet. We'll shallow our descent rate to 1,800 feet per minute. Is that 240? Altitude's perfect. Shallow now, shallow now to 1,600 feet per minute. And slow to 235. Not receiving any ILS data yet. Bet we're a little far out. 29 miles, not entirely surprising. Should expect it though soon. But with weather like this, we can fly visual if we need to. 28 miles, 8,200 feet, shallow our descent rate. 1,400 feet per minute, slow to 230. Let's get our landing lights on. Local time 4.05 p.m here at Louisville. And we are now receiving ILS information. You see here the Scion arrow has populated and we're getting ISNU, that's the identifier. 25.2. Excellent. Tower handoff, slow to 225. 25 miles out, 7,100 feet, shallow descent rate, 1,200 feet per minute. Okay, 
Okay, we're clear for the approach. One seven right through the whiskey. Interesting. The winds are not entirely consistent with how it is in real life, but more or less, I guess. Louisville, sixty-one degrees. Winds out of the. Well, I guess actually the winds are pretty correct. South southwest. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Anyway, we're we're looking good. Slow the two one zero. We're a little high. Correction, a little low. So we'll shallow our descent rate, 900 feet per minute. How do I know that? Right here, this white diamond, a little bit high. So we'll compensate for that. Everything going great so far, though. 20 miles out. Make a gentle right turn here in a second. Shallow to 700 feet per minute. Right there. We'll get ready to switch our nav source over to nav one. And that'll get us on the localizer and the glide slope. Grab a couple of screenshots here. Pass over the Ohio River momentarily. Slow to 205, 15 miles out. Zoom in on our MFD down to five. Now slow to 200. Expect that gentle right turn is just about to start. There it is. Looks great. All right, we'll switch over now to nav source, nav one. Let's go to one nine or zero. There's the runway right there, dead ahead. And there's downtown Louisville. Activate EPPR. Should be just on the cusp of grabbing the glide slope. Slow to 185. 12 miles out now. And now 180. Blue notch of flaps. Shallow our descent rate. 500 feet per minute, that should trigger the GPS, or rather, glide slope interception. Go outside, do a notch of flaps. Glide slope, come on, baby. Right now. Turn green. Bingo. Beautiful. Okay, we're on the glide slope. We'll zoom in now down to three. And we'll make it two. Let's go to one six five. Eight point eight miles out. We'll go outside. Here's down. Okay. Graphics look kind of shitty. I don't know. We haven't gotten a photogrammetry warning unless I missed it. We remain on the glide slope. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this city. It looks like shit. But runway's dead ahead. So the 160. Approach speed. What did I say it was? 131. Speed bugs. VAP 132. Sorry. Another notch. Yeah, look at it. This is all fucked up. 
Unless they're preparing for war. I don't know. Two seven. Two seven. Jesus, two seven. God damn, it's windy. All right, cleared land. Two seven one seven right. Three row whiskey. Slow to one three two. Our approach speed will go full flaps. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This is all fucked up. It's disappointing. Airspeed's good. Full flaps, gears down, properly configured, stabilized. Remain on the glide slope. RA showing us 1200 AGL. Southwest headed to 17 left. Niner miles out. About five miles back that way. Throttle throttle disconnected. Two mile final. Airspeed's good. One three two, right where we needed to be. Winds are fourteen knots, coming at us about at one o'clock. I don't know what's going on with the graphics, though. That's. Uh, Strange. Wait for the 500 call out. Any second. Five hundred. Autopilot. I have the airplane. I see the poppies on the left. Precision approach path indicator on the left. Yeah, other than the graphics being fucked up, this was a perfect flight. Feeling that crosswind, 12 knots coming at us from about 2 o'clock now. Got 2 and 2 on the poppies. One 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 seven, right? Confirmed. That yeah, graphics are all screwed up. Spoilers up, reversers on. Reversers should be on. Southwest one five four two and two three five and two zero. Clear to land runway one seven left. <laughs> the graphics are terrible. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, I can't. I don't think I've ever seen this. Never seen this happen before. Where it's just completely unresolved. I can't even see anything. It's like blurry. What a shame. On such an otherwise perfect flight. Oh my god. Well, my goodness gracious, what a complete waste of time. Alright, well, one less video I have to upload.